Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and thanks for being here and subscribing um, to this channel. So I've just gotten back from Perth and I just wanted to have a, um, a chat with you all um, about some of the things that have been going on and I just wanted to make a video where I was kind of like just talking to you so you guys can understand where I'm at and what's happening and how I've been feeling and all those kinds of things because I'm sure there, there are a lot of things in here that are going to resonate or relate with you. So if you've been watching my last video you'll know that something has happened um, in the throat area. I thought it was because I was up for like 28 hours <laughs> during the week having so much fun with my girlfriends and laughing so much and meeting new people and having a few champagnes and just really you know just really letting down every single guard and I thought that you know how sometimes when you've had a night where you've been out all night or whatever you wake up and you're a bit rattly but this hasn't gone away <laughs> and it was like you know a few days ago now so what what I'm thinking is that oh excuse me what I'm thinking is that there is a change happening and even though we know things are changing and we know we are growing and we know we are moving into the new because we're coming up into a new year as well and we know that all these things that we've already learned sometimes we're waiting for something to happen and we're not seeing results you know so we give up on it kind of thing and other times it'll just happen without even thinking about it if you know what I mean in that way and so this is what's happened to me while I've been in uh, you know sort of resting for the last couple of days because I had a back and a hip injury as well um, just from wearing the wrong shoes for far too long it just aggravated an old injury um, but anyway I've had this this time of rest and sort of contemplation in between a really really hectic time in my life but while I was having that time of like downtime I was still doing things on the computer and all that kind of stuff but there was a lot of things that um, were coming to me and you know I'm not pointing fingers at anybody or anything like that but it, it's just musings about um, the way people are in life and the way that I've even been in life and what the most sort of thing is like the most issues that people have is um, worry and so I'm just going to focus on this worry thing and it's not just worry about the future or a worry about um, themselves as much as it is a worry about everybody else around them worrying about what they think what they're doing um, what they'll think of them um, you know what terrible hardships that person has in their life or they're worrying about what's going on in the news they're worrying about what's going on around the world they're worrying about the weather they're worrying about what they're going to wear the next day they're worrying about all kinds of things completely all the time there are some of those things in there that you may resonate with or all of them and I know that for a long time I worried about what people might think about me which is why I didn't make videos or anything for a while now I couldn't care less <laughs> because I'm doing it and I'm just talking to you guys and it's changed me to be able to have that freedom or allow myself permission to do that it doesn't mean that I don't go through the same kind of feelings as everybody else does every now and then However, I quickly nip those feelings in the bud, but I do allow myself to feel them. And this allows me to really get um, answers and analyze things and help you in the best way that I can. So while we're worrying about every little thing, about ridiculous things even, while we're doing all of that, we are depleting ourselves constantly of our own energy because our energy is focusing on you know that someone's got the better a better shirt than you and 
or it's going on someone thinks that you look stupid making videos or it's going on someone thinks that um, you know you haven't done enough in your life or your parents are going to think that you needed to do more and more it's just more and more and more and more and more things that each one of us in different ways feels under pressure to perform and this worry can do two things one it can actually kill you because the worry and the negative emotion eats you away until you give up on life altogether and when you give up on life altogether you're like throwing your hands up in the air you know what who gives a shit anyway you know you're throwing your hands up in the air and whatever you know you start to deteriorate and then you start it starts to snowball it starts to go down you start getting an illness something starts happening to you or you just have a complete mental block all because worry has consumed you for most of your life and you've given into that worry so much that that is all you know you're too frightened to go anywhere else in your life the other thing that can happen with worry is that first of all it starts to make you deteriorate but then you say you know what this is not going to get me and you go to the other side and you're like um, I, this is actually making me more determined to change my life more determined to be a bigger brighter better person an inspiration to many this is making me understand myself and with any situation of worry, doubt, low self-esteem, it's all the same kind of kettle of fish. It's all a negative thing that we've programmed ourselves to think or to feel or to be. We don't even laugh like we should. We don't let down our guard. We feel like we need to be a particular way because we're spiritual or we need to be a particular way because we're religious. That is just like wearing a total mask over yourself. And you have to ask yourself, which one am I? Am I the person wearing a mask or am I the person underneath? And why am I so afraid to be the person underneath and be myself? Why? Because I don't know what it's like to actually not have worry, concern, fear and stress in my life. I don't know what how to live like that. And even in some cases, some people actually force a crisis onto their life you know force it into their life because they don't know any other way they don't know what will happen to them if they don't have something that they got to be stressed about and yet they say they don't want that stress you know i don't want stress look but i've look, got all this crap in my life but i don't want it but i can't have not have it because then i have to face myself and i don't know who i am and then I go back to the, you know, people go back to thinking, oh, if I don't know who I am, then no one will like me. This whole thing, it goes around, it just drives us all nuts in some way. And you can either let it continue doing that to you, or you can break free. And, you know, it's so easy to break free. It's so easy to be on the other side if you don't care about what, others are doing, thinking, saying or being. If you only care about what you're doing, being, saying you know, or thinking, if you're constantly working on yourself, um, if you're in some ways selfish about who you are and getting yourself to a point where you are not depleted anymore. So when you do need to help someone in your life, they are getting all of you, not a shadow of you. Not a shadow that's standing there absolutely naked and exhausted and like, you know, throwing yourself there, you know, like, well, at least I'm here, here I am. You know what I mean? We have to really get to this. Well, I'm feeling that my job is to try to make things easy for you to understand. And then you grasp these little truths in your own way and you, you know, soak in them for a while and you keep soaking in them long enough and you're drenched in this knowledge and it's a truth because your soul resonates or your heart space resonates with this truth 
you know, this connection to all that is that would never ever hurt you in any way, would never judge you in any way, would always hold you up in the highest regard, would be there to support you every step of, the, of this journey. We, we weren't here to be left all by ourselves. We were here to remember who we are and who we are are spiritual beings, spiritual enlightened beings and we're having a physical experience at the moment and in the physical experience there's all kinds of crap that's going to come at us. We know that. Most of us have experienced just about every low form of energy that there is. You know, we've experienced it. But if we keep our mind, you know, on all of the things that we've already been through and we keep our mind there and we keep reflecting on it and we keep saying, okay, I was doing that because of this and I was doing that because of this, we're still depleting ourselves. Even though there are times when the past comes up and we need to work through things, um, we still cannot hold a judgment or a worry towards ourselves for the way that things have been. Everything has needed to be how it is to get you to the point where you step over that line and lift yourself away from the bloody drama, right? So, worry is depletion looking at the news and commenting on the news and having it in your news feed and go oh, I'm so sorry about all these people I'm so sorry about all those people and it's not being heartless to say you know what they've gone to a better place now we don't understand how some person can get to a point that they can kill all of these children they can do all of these things but perhaps those children or those people or those beings that have crossed over, not only have they made that choice themselves before they came to earth, but they may have been relieving themselves, like totally relieving themselves of further pain and allowing that perpetrator to grow. But do I sit there on the news and think about it too often can't help but seeing it at times because it's in news feeds and you know social media and all that kind of stuff but I don't deliberately search the news I don't watch the news I don't look at it because that allows me to feel lower in spirit and you know I start to get angry and I start to go into you know that I like really frustrated state where I don't want to be at it's not doing anyone any good to be in that state and it's also depleting me of my own power to help people who are alive and living you know like here so you got to have a look at the different areas in your life where you are unnecessarily depleting yourself of energy and you know worrying about other people you know, one thing I used to say to my grandma, she would worry like her entire life. And one thing I used to say to her is, you know what, grandma, you're worrying about this, this and this person. And she'd say, yeah, I'm, I'm really worried about them. And I'm like, you know what, I said, they're sleeping quite fine and you're still up. And it's three o'clock in the morning and you're still up worrying about this person. I said, do you think that they're worrying about you? And she just didn't know what to do with that, you know. But she spent her entire life, 95 years of her life, worrying what she looked like, whether she had the right clothes, whether she was pretty enough. She even had all her teeth ripped out when she was 25, just in case they all fell out one day and she wanted them to be perfectly straight. I'm like, oh my God, you know. But this was her mentality. I mean, back in the 1920s, 1930s, 40s, 50s, that kind of thing, when she was a young woman growing up, you know, everybody looked at everybody and judged them for different things. And I mean, I know that still goes on today. Um, but, you know, instead of looking at the person underneath everything and seeing the beauty that lies within, it's all a visual world, right? You look at the outside and um, it just goes on and on and on. And that was one thing that she said to me, um, she said, throughout your life she said make sure you travel whenever you can 
and she said, and you don't worry about what anyone else ever thinks about you, what you're wearing, what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're saying, or allow that person or that thing to enter your mind at any time. You know? And she also said um, that you should never be unhappy. If you're in a relationship that's miserable, you don't think that it's going anywhere. You know, stop judging yourself about moving forward. All of this worry and all of this stress. We can break it down into every area of our life. And we can also break it down into what's happening with our body. So some people, um, you know, think, okay, so I've got... So for me, they think I've got a sore throat because I'm speaking softly. My throat does not hurt at all. However, I know that it sounds softer. I know that there is some change that's happening. I don't feel like there's any, um, what do you call it? You know how sometimes you feel like you've got a very thick throat, like there's a lot of um, phlegm or something there? I don't feel like any of that is there. And I did for a long time. I felt like there was phlegm there. But I was always working on my chakras, so I didn't worry about it. But it feels like something is lifted away so that I can speak, you know. And I want to be able to speak to you all. I'm not going to monitor how long my videos are. I'm not going to worry whether, you know, someone thinks I look attractive or not. I just have to talk to you guys and talk to you in such a way that whatever is resonating um, like on my mind the most, I like to share it because when I do that, I get all these people that say, that is exactly what I was thinking. So then my feeling is validated. My feeling to say what I'm saying to you today is validated by every single one of you saying, my God, I was thinking the same thing. I was wondering how to get out of worry. I've been worrying my entire life. I've been stressing my entire life. I'm far too critical of myself. Oh, but you know, other people say, oh, but you don't understand my situation. I have to do this and I have to do that. That may be true in, to an extent where you um, are in, say, you're in a family dynamic where you are the one that makes the money or you have to take care of many people in your family and all of that. But do you have to be worried about it? No. Do you accept that as part of how your life is at the moment? Yes. That is the only way that you get through it. So you see what the difference is there. Do you have to worry about all of the people that are dying every single day around the world, does that have to deplete you as well as any with, of energy? Does it have to affect you physically? No. What can you do instead is bring light into this planet instead. Let's not worry about all of those things that are going on around us. We know that it's there. But if we give any attention to it, just like anything else, it begins to grow. So instead, we give thanks that people are free now. If people have had to pass away, they're free now. We give thanks for that. We give thanks for the lesson. We do things differently. We trust our instincts more. We know, you know, we have this feeling within us that things are changing. And yes, we are experiencing a lot of grief at the moment on the earth but things need to fall apart for things to be built stronger it's happened since the beginning of time things fall apart something else is built in its place we learn from all of these things worrying about them does nothing to help you it does nothing to change anything it does nothing to help the other person that you're worrying about it's just totally depleting you of the vital energy that you need to live your life how you please, how you want to live it. Do you want to feel depleted or do you want to feel strong? So, fear of the future, you know, worrying about others, as I said, how can you help when you are depleted? You know, how can you help? You have to help yourself first. There are all these other things and I won't keep going but it all relates to worry. The need to um, find the right partner is a worry. The fear of the future is a worry. The fear of your past, the regrets of your past is a worry. It's all depleting you. 
and what I'm saying to you guys is that there are secrets to having a more fulfilled life. You may not see the results of implementing those secrets straight away, but you will see results and when you do, then you'll understand that you can apply it to absolutely anything in your life. Money, we're always carrying on about money. We always want more and yet we have a hard time accepting money when it comes to us. And you know, a lot of people that want to do spiritual work, they have a hard time accepting money. However, in this time and age, you know, you've got to eat, you've got to live. You don't need to be greedy about it, but you've got to be able to have some sort of an exchange. And my answer to all you guys who are worrying about, you know, making a living from your spiritual journey, you're not charging for the spiritual advice. You're not charging from the messages from the angels. You're not charging from whatever it is that you do. You're only charging a fair price for the time that you need to take aside where you could have been working another job. You need to be paid for that time that you are putting in and that effort that you are putting in to help that person. And that is fair. A lot of the times with my own work, people offer me a bartering system, which I am more than happy to do for any one of you. So they'll say to me, I'm going to draw you a beautiful spirit guide drawing. Now, can you do me a reading about my spirit guide? And we do that kind of thing all the time. My problem has been taking money, you know, that, that has been a problem, yet obviously we all want to have the freedom that money can buy us. You know, to not have to worry about so many different things. So another thing that you can have on your mind is the more money that you have, or the more abundance that you have, the more freely you are able to help people. So there's a ways around everything that you are thinking as a worry or a concern in your life. And thinking about someone in the past, you cannot go backwards, you know, we're not, we're not going that way anymore, we're going forward. So that doesn't matter, we have to squash all of that. Listening and believing what other people have said to you in the past. Who are they to treat you that way? Stop giving them your energy and time. Um, and with your future as well. You're creating your own reality all the time by the way that you think. So, what are you going to do about your future? How are you going to create that? What are you going to do? You're going to sit there and do how you've always done things and expect things to be different for you? Or are you going to just understand, you know what, I've done all these things and I've worried and I've been fearful and I've you know, felt guilty and I've had all those feelings and that makes me human. But it doesn't make me who I really am. You know, it doesn't, um, what's the word? It doesn't mean that that is, you know, um, what I'm aspiring to. It's just things that I have felt in my life. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, trust that the future that I would like to see for myself is already becoming a reality and I need to step into it physically. So every time I worry, I see myself as um, getting further away from my dreams and goals and every time I'm positive and every time I'm affirming and every time I'm expecting and every time I'm allowing and every time that I'm believing and every time that I let go I'm getting closer and closer to the things that I want in life. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks about you you're allowed to do whatever you want in this life you're allowed to do it you need to give yourself permission to have fun let your hair down you know, do the party or do whatever it is that you want to do and enjoy yourself because when you are enjoying yourself you are in the river of abundance that you need to be at. There is no worry other than what you're doing. So make sure that that becomes a focus of your life, enjoying yourself. And worry and all that crap is the old paradigm of things and we're not going to allow that to exist in our future life. We're not going to allow it to be there because if it is there, then we're not going to have the happiness that we are seeking. Let's abolish it 
And I know that there are people that say, how can I do it? Even after all, everything that I've said, they'll be like, I can't do it because my situation is different. All I'm asking you to do is alleviate your part in the worry. As I said, you may still need to be somewhat responsible or doing or having to do or whatever it is, but how you feel about it needs to change. And then it doesn't become a worry anymore. How you feel about the future changes, it's not a fear anymore. How you feel about yourself changes and your whole body changes to what you want it to be. We let go of all of those feelings that have held us back. We change the way we feel about them and our life becomes more of the way that we want it to be. And it's so, so easy. And I want nothing more than to hear your stories of success. I know that, you know, you come to me for a reading or a guidance or whatever it is that you come for and I don't really want to see you come back because that means that I haven't helped you in the right way to help yourself. I mean, I know there are some people that come back because they want, you know, they might have asked about the angels, but now they want to ask about the spirit guides or something, but that's a little bit different. But if you kept coming back with the same problem and I kept giving you the same solution, then I've already given you the answer that you need. But you're not accepting that as the right answer because you feel afraid or something or worried or some for some reason so you haven't detached yourself from the problem and these this happens in different variations throughout our life in different ways so what I'm saying to each one of you guys is let's let go of that, that kind of thing controlling us anymore let's let, get to know who we are and be accepting of who we are and you know, people don't know who they are because they've been labelled so many different things. But what you are is a fun, loving and joyful being. That's what you are. As a baby, you never worried about what anyone thought of you. You'd laugh your head off, you'd cry if you needed to, you'd poo if you needed to. It wasn't a worry, it wasn't a concern. It only became a concern as we started judging ourselves and judging others or judging the way we think others think about us and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. So I know it's a work in progress and um, you know I know that we've got to take it bit by bit by bit but I don't want anyone to be um, beating themselves up anymore about the past or what they've done or what they think they need to be doing or whether they smoke or whether they drink or whether they've slept with the wrong person or whether they've cheated on their partner or what, you know, whatever. Let it all go and just say, you know what, I've had this experience, I didn't like it, this is what I'm going to do about it instead of allowing it to define who you are. Thank you guys so much for listening and um, I'm not going to say that I know it's a long video or anything like that because <laughs> we know that and it is what it is. And I'm so happy to be with each and every one of you and to be traveling around again next year. And uh, USA, Canada, I know that you guys want me to come over there and I'm going to do my very, very best to have something available to show you when I get there so that I can actually pay for the trip and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it can all take care of itself while we're there and we're sharing and enjoying. So. I'm hoping that perhaps the second half um, of 2015 that I can get going over to the USA and you guys can meet me in person and we can talk about all kinds of things and um, learn some different methods of healing and growing and changing in your life. So I'm just going to put that out there that the right timing will happen and um, the um, everything will be available when the right timing is there for each one of us to be on the next wave of our pathway. I am going to Melbourne in January and Hobart soon after that and I'll be doing seminars there, past life regressions, all kinds of things and also aromatherapy. You can come and see me and have a um, get together or a happy hour with me and bring some champagne or whatever it is that you want to do and it's just a very quick 
little lesson about aromatherapy and some ways in which you can use this in your life please connect with me if you would like to have something like that I'm trying to find a team of people that are just bursting at the seams about healing and wanting to help other people and also wanting to make a bit of money so um, it doesn't matter where you are in Australia um, and even if you are overseas and you would like to try these beautiful um, Australian products you can send me an email and we can work out shipping you can still order but you do need to order through me not the website because they won't ship it to you but I can ship it to you personally and we can work all of that out um, yeah so those are the things we have good news good things happening busy 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 but let's just enjoy ourselves every step of the way eliminate worry from cluttering our mind and move into the next phase of a wonderful life that we can have if we choose it so thank you for listening and until the next video i hope you all have a marvelous christmas and happy new year i'll probably speak to you before that but um, i hope that you all just take the day to relax and rejoice and enjoy yourself and eat and be merry or whatever it is that you want to do without any judgment to yourself or or worry about anything or anyone and um, I love you all very very much and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you in the future and uh, we'll see you and it's goodbye for now um, namaste everyone <laughs>